uh, let's dive in to... Teams on upset alert. Teams on upset alert. You know, we every, every week, I think it's worth mentioning a couple of caveats here off the top. One, at this point, any, any games that go either way, there's no real big-time upsets. No. You know, every team that's left in the playoffs is pretty darn good. Okay? Yeah. Now, if... No, I mean if Canadian lost. If Canadian lost or right. Navasota lost right. or any of these would, big time like, favorites. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I also don't think that I think that every team's pretty good. And the other part of this before we get going on this is that we are not saying this is going to happen. Definitely this is not, not a it. prediction, okay? This is not a prediction. This is not a Do prediction. Not hold this to us at all. We're just this might happen. It's it's there's a possibility. Save your emails. Maybe a higher possibility than other games, but we still think most of these teams will win. That's all we're saying. Okay. They're still gonna hate us. Let's start. Six <laughs> A. Let's go to the division one bracket. Okay. Let's go to the region one. All right. I'm putting Denton Ryan on upset alert. Oh, versus South Grand Prairie. So mm. South Grand Prairie. Denton Ryan's been great. Denton Ryan's been... Uh, I think they've been one of the sneakiest, nasty teams in the oh, state. Yeah. Not really been anyone paying attention to them, but they're up there wrecking shop. 11-0 with all of their major weapons being underclassmen. Yeah. Okay? The sophomore um, at the quarterback They're putting position. teams on notice. Exactly. They are. So Denton Ryan's been great. This South Grand Prairie team, feeling it. Okay? Yeah. They come off a big win. I think that there is potentially for Denton Ryan to be like, oh, thank goodness. Oh, we don't have to face Eulis Trinity. Sure. Sure. Watch out. This this South Grand Prairie team, feisty. Yeah. They've got a great quarterback in Greg Ellsworth, and they just got done beating Yules Trinity at their own game. Is there any chance of a letdown for South Grand Prairie after Maybe. such a big win? Possibly, but I think that I think that right now Denton, or I'm, I think South Grand Prairie is flying with so much confidence right now. Okay. And I think that if they can, you know, they've got a, a lot of Cinderella in them. That you know, kind of uh, a forgotten team in a great district. Uh, things, uh, maybe you know, they pull off the first round upset. If they pull off, if they knock off two undefeated teams sure. in back to back weeks, yeah. that would be pretty remarkable. Yeah. So I'm be putting awesome. Denton Ryan on upset alert. Down to five A. Putting College Station on upset alert, and this Man, is the team is I team like. You and I, you and I both like a lot. I College think we've, Station. I think we've got them in the regional final at least. Yeah, pretty close. I, I mean, have to look again, but I know I'm high on them. We, uh, and College Station's been great. They've done nothing yeah. to deserve to be put on upset alert except running into. You mentioned sneaky teams. Yeah. Wow, this Houston qualifies. North Forest. This one qualifies. Yeah. Houston North Forest not messing around, and they have the reason that I like that I'm putting them on upset alert is that their defense is playing well right now, and they've got the hammer. Yeah. They've got the guy who can take over a game, and it's Jermail Proctor. Their yeah. quarterback, he can throw, he can run, he is a dynamo. Yeah. So if College Station lets this team hang around, and they let Jermail Proctor get out in space and start making plays with his feet and his arms, yeah. watch out. This is I, I'm, I think College Station's on big-time upset alert this week. If they mess around... I think Houston North Forest can up it, which they're a fantastic story anyway. Yeah. I mean, a, a program that was nearly shut down, and now they're ten and one, and or nine yeah. and one, and cruising. So, yeah. watch out. That's all I'm saying. Watch out okay. for uh, watch College out. Station. Four A. Okay. Putting Giddings on upset Ooh. alert, and and part of it is that they're playing a feisty Orange Field. Orange team. Field's good. They're playing. A, it's an underrated Orange Field team, a team that just yeah. knocked off Houston Worthing. I would uh, agree. You it's know, very underrated. It's it's underrated, and their record won't show it because they're six and five. But here's the big reason, and if if I may share something, uh, that's what this is about. Yes, there is a possibility. I know that Giddings' star quarterback Kyle Jones was banged up mm-hmm. in the last game, mm-hmm. and I don't I don't have any inside information. But if he can't go, if if the Giddings quarterback Kyle Jones cannot go. Then there is that that could become very problematic for Giddings. Yeah. They're pretty reliant on Kyle Jones. They've got other weapons, but I think Giddings is on upset alert because Orange Field is good enough to knock them off, yeah. and they're especially good enough to knock them off if they're not at full strength. Sure. So there's that. Okay. Let's right. drop dip down to three A. And this hurts me because I like this team a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this would I think this would hardly be considered an upset uh-huh. because this team is ten one. Yeah. I'm putting post on upset alert. 
Okay. Putting the antelopes on All upset right. alert. They're 11 and 0. They've been rolling. They've looked great. But this Henrietta team, if you haven't been paying attention to them, is dangerous. Yeah. Their one loss in the year is to Cisco, a team we think is pretty good. Yeah. They've run through. They've beaten Eastland. You know, they 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 beat Sanford French uh, like a drum last week. They've beaten Electra, which is an underrated w- yeah. underrated win. Uh, and more importantly, they've got they've got a great defense. Their defensive lineman Logan Carter's been great, and they've got variety on offense. They can run the ball with Cody Fletcher. They can throw the ball with Riley Watson. This is a diverse offense in Henrietta. I think Post, who's been great, and their defense has just been a flamethrower. Yes. But this is a big test for them. I think that there is a – and, and we, t- we say upset. I say Post is – I would think that Post is favored, yes. but I, I think that this is, this is more of a coin flip than people may be yeah, realizing. I think that's fair. And finally, we're going to dip down to 2A. All right. I'm putting Anson on upset alert. Okay. Oh, really? So Panhandle. Yeah. Panhandle is a team that a lot of people don't want to be in the playoffs. That's very true. Okay. I feel like we should have Lance Lonard on right now to talk about Because Panhandle is a team that I believe, in fact, I know, finished yeah. fourth in their own district. Yep. But that is the Canadian yeah. Stratford Wellington district. It is a very good district. And you saw it last week yep. when they knocked off New Deal. Yeah. A 10 and 0 New Deal team that looked like it was just it was cruising all the way to at least a yep. regional final. Yeah. And Panhandle came out and took the fight to them. And this Anton team could be next if they are not careful. Panhandle can score. Can, Panhandle can uh, Panhandle if the defense has another nice game like they did last week uh, against New Deal, then they're going to be very dangerous. Yeah. But Panhandle is a team to keep an eye on. You think about it. They've got four losses. Here are their four losses. Spearman, one loss on the year. Okay. Uh-huh. Stratford, pretty good. One loss on the year. And it was two. Canadian. Yeah. And then Wellington. And that yeah. was at Wellington. Okay. Yeah. This this panhandle team is the purest example of a team that is much better than its record. Oh, yeah. Now Anson's pretty good. Anson Anson is no pushover themselves. You yeah. know, they can they can score, but I worry about their defense. I worry about their defense. I think Fair. Anson is on upset alert this week against against a team that finished fourth in their own darn district. Yeah. And that to me, Ants or uh, Panhandle is the perfect it's a perfect example of why I don't mind letting teams into the play, letting more teams into the playoffs. Right. Yeah. I think we're both the same on this. Because, yes. Okay. Yes. You're going to let teams like, all due respect to our friends at Houston Scarborough. Right. All due respect right. uh, to our friends at um, oh Central Texas Salado. Yes. Who went one and nine and made the playoffs. Yeah. But you know what? Those teams are gone. Yeah. But for every one of those teams you let in, you are also letting in a fourth place team that yeah. might be the best team in the, in their right. by district pairing district. Right. So I don't mind letting four teams in from yeah. each, each each district. And I think Panhandle's a perfect example. So who else should be on upset alert? Let us know. Hashtag DCTF Live. That's how you can get in touch with the show. Follow us on Twitter at DCTF. Like us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Dave Campbell's follow us on Instagram, Instagram.com slash Dave Campbell's and see us at TexasFootball.com. 